before we uh, simplify the log, let's figure out what that expression is. Let's factor that. You've got four terms. The way you factor four, four terms is by grouping. You see how you can take an x squared out of both of these? If you take an x squared out, you're left with x plus one. And you see how you have a 36 there and a 36 there? Let's take out a negative 36. If you factor out a negative 36, that leaves me an x plus one. And this grouping is working well because look how you have the same factor there and there. So factor out an x plus one. That's common in both terms. That will leave you an x squared minus a 36. And of course, x plus one will not factor any further, but x squared minus 36 is x plus six, x minus 36. I'm sorry, x minus six, x plus six, x minus six. So now let's put that in. You got log three, x minus six plus Notice how you have a 2 here. There's a property, property that says you can put that up here as an exponent. So that's log base 3 of x plus 6 squared minus log of x plus 1, x plus 6, x minus 6. And we know that the sum of the logs is the log of the product. So log base 3 of x minus 6 times x plus 6 squared, and then minus is a quotient. Well, I'll go ahead and write this out. Minus log of x plus 1, x plus 6, x minus 6. And that's log base 3. Lost that 3. That's log base 3 of subtraction is the quotient. So that's x minus 6, x plus 6 squared, divided by x plus 1, x plus 6, x minus 6. So the x minus 6's will cancel, and one of the x plus 6's will cancel. So I'm left with log base 3 of x plus 6 over x plus... Uh, is it x plus 1 or x minus 1? I got x plus 1. All right, 